Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, you know Andrew Tate. He's this guy who he became wealthy running a, a webcam business, and he's charged with sex crimes in Romania because, uh, according to prosecutors, he kept these girls, you know, in, under his eye and in his house and <laughs> forced them to do all these weird sex things on camera and then kept a lot of the money. And he kind of bragged about some of this stuff, but he denies some of the charges. And he's just, a, he's one of these guys, one of these self-help gurus who says, you know, I drive really nice cars and I got a ton of money and I sleep with a lot of chicks. And I, and, and so he's a very, very polarizing figure. He converted to Islam. So people have all sorts of views on Andrew Tate. Uh, my main takeaway from Andrew Tate is he's a very impressive uh, internet influencer. Um, forget about all of the other, the awful sex stuff and the charges and the materialism and Islam and all. He he just is really good at keeping people's attention. And he's really good at getting people to, even if they hate 99% of the things that he says and does, the 1% they'll agree with, and then it'll another group he'll irritate. And he just keeps people's attention. Well, he got people's attention yesterday when he made a tweet that aroused a lot of ire he said, sex is for making children. Any man who has sex with women because it, quote, feels good is gay. Oh, my, I'll clean up some of the language, make it a little more elevated for this family show. Oh, my phallus feels good. This is great. In fact, if you are 40 with less than five children, you're probably gay. All that feel good phallus sex and hardly any genetic legacy and then actually readers added a comment. They said, having sex with women is straight. Actually, I hate to disagree with community notes. I hate, hate to have to agree with Andrew Tate over the you know, uh, cumulative wisdom of Twitter here. Tate is pretty much right, I think. This is a view that has been articulated in the past by great philosophers uh, and ethicists, including the late great philosopher, Norm MacDonald. In regular life, that's why sex is so tough to get going, because it's so shameful and filthy, and uh, <laughs> obviously meant only for procreation. And so when you get... <laughs> you know, and kind of, I, it's 20% it's it's tw exaggerated, 20% hyperbolic. Bring me back to the Andrew Tate tweet. I want to see the exact wording here. It's, it's very precise. Sex is for making children. Fact check, true. That's what it's for. That's what, that's what marriage is for. It's for the begetting and education of children. So it's not enough just to make them. You also have to raise them, which is why children have a right to be the product of the specific conjugal act of, of his parents, of their parents, uh, who are joined together in holy matrimony, which is a union for life, the union oriented toward the education and begetting of children, and also, as a secondary aspect, the mutual support of the spouses. Now, Andrew Tate might not have fit all of that into the 280 character limit, but he says sex is for making children. That's true. That's what it's for. It's a very Aristotelian view. That's the that's the telos of the sexual act. There are there are incidental aspects to it. Oh, it feels good. Oh, you know, it's a way to pass the time when the cable goes out. Oh, it's this, it's that, it's the other thing. But that's what it's for. You know a thing by what it's for. The leftist tears tumbler is for bringing delicious leftist tears into my body. The microphone is for transmitting my mellifluous dulcet tones to your ears. And sex is for making children. Totally true. Text Knowles to 989898. The cost of living has already increased 17% this year and continues to ride despite interest rate controls. As our national debt continues to skyrocket, you need to be confident in the financial services companies you work with, especially regarding your money and future. Birch Gold is a proven industry leader that you want on your side. They demonstrate how precious metal investments can fortify your lifestyle and retirement, even in turbulent economic times. Birch Gold understands that navigating financial decisions can be daunting. That is why their expertise, coupled with their customer care process, ensures that your purchase or IRA setup is a breeze. If you are considering converting an existing retirement account into a precious metals IRA, their dedicated in-house IRA department is there to guide you every step of the way making the process feel as simple as a walk in the park. Birch Gold values your questions and concerns. Their team is always available to provide answers and clarity, whether it's about fees, taxes on rollovers, or the timing of the process. They are here to ensure you feel heard and informed. Text Knowles, Canada WLES, to 989898 to talk to one of Birch Gold's experts and claim your free info kit on gold. You will learn how to convert an existing IRA or 401k into a tax-sheltered IRA in gold. The best part is... 
It does not cost you a penny out of pocket. Just text Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S, to 989898. That is Knowles to 989898. Any man who has sex with women because it, quote, feels good is gay. Uh, he's obviously making a joke here, and it's kind of hyperbolic, but the point he's making here is a point I actually made quite earnestly on the uh, Iced Coffee Hour podcast uh, some months ago. And, and the hosts, who are lovely guys, but they were kind of shocked by what I said, they took issue with, with my use of the term gay and the point that I was making. But I said, no, I'm, making the, I'm using the term specifically because I'm using it in the sense that sterile sexual relations are gay. And gay relations are sterile. They, I, I, I don't mean it in any you know judgy way or to even to be needlessly provocative. I'm just saying that's that's what distinguishes normal, healthy sexual relations that are that that are ordered toward their natural ends from all the other kinds. Whether you're talking about you know a couple of dudes, a couple of chicks, three dudes and a billy goat, you know, a whole village, some bacchanal in ancient Rome or whatever. That that's the difference. One is fruitful or at least it's a fallen world, so you know people suffer infertility, but it's either inclined toward fruitfulness or it's just sterile and for pleasure, and the former is good and natural and uh, oriented toward family and marriage, and the other is gay. Yeah, that's true. Then he kind of mocks this idea, oh, you know, my, my genitals feel good, this is great. Yeah, that's true. If you just live for your own personal pleasure, your, your base appetites... Uh, that's going to be shameful. Uh, uh, that's 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 not going to satisfy you in the long run. It's not going to be very productive and edifying. He goes, if you're if you're 40 with less than five children, you're probably gay. This is a funny line. In in that now, I don't think statistically that's literally true, but we we used to have a lot of kids, and now we don't. And that shift it, it is is a shift away from giving of oneself totally to one's spouse and totally to one's commonwealth and totally to the common good and totally to one's society, because we're the social animal, and a turning away from that toward just making everything about your own personal pleasure, which is decadent. That's a decadent thing to do. No genetic legacy. Well, it's even more than a genetic legacy. The genetics is the, the physical representation of the legacy, but there's more. There's a cultural legacy. There are the memories passed across the generations of a family. You know, there, there are the family heirlooms. There's a tradition. There's all of that. Absolutely. Between Community Notes and Andrew Tate, Tate is, he's not 100% correct, but he's about 97% correct. That was a great clip. Now, stop, ring the bell, subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.